Our final paper will be from uh, Taysun Kim from uh, Seoul. So, the floor is yours. Okay. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> okay, it's my honor to be able to talk uh, on behalf of you know, uh, the central candidate of Taesun Jilihue today. So today, the main focus is uh, 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 relationship between the uh, most important tenet, Hewon Sangseng, the resolution of grievances, uh, with the, uh, the second tenet, the Xinyin Zhuhua, which means the, uh, the relationship between the divine, uh, divine beings and the human beings. Let me just uh, talk about the contents of my, 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 my argument. I just uh, talk about the <clears throat> reordering of the universe by Kang Jing San Sangjie uh, in my introduction, and I will focus more on sacred place in Taesun Jiliwe in two ways. First one, uh, as Mashimo and Jason talked about already, uh, I, I thought that Yongde can be uh, regarded as a, m the most important sacred place in Taesun Jiliwe. And the second point was that uh, uh, I think that the human mind itself can be regarded as a sacred place in Taesun uh, doctrine. Okay, the third part will be dealt with the Hewon Sangseng and in its religious implications. And the first part uh, will be dealt with the implications of Hewon Sangsen in relation to Xinyin Zhuwa and Dutong Jingyeo, the both tenet. And the last one, I just conclude with uh, Hewon Sangsen in relation to Xinyin Zhuwa and Dutong Jingyeo as a ground of, uh, for the religi religious hierophony. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Since Mashimo has talked about uh, the main religious authority, I just skip the first part. I mean, the main point is that in the Sangje, uh, we say that this is a supreme, uh, supreme being uh, in, the, in the universe, and he was incarnated as a human form. Uh, as it, the name was Kang Zheng San. And what he did was that he did the reordering works of the universe, I mean, reordering works of the heaven and earth from 1901 to 1909. And the second person uh, is the Zhou Zheng San, and he established Mugukdo uh, as a first religious organization, and he constructed the Yongde. You will see the picture later. And he also established the central doctrine and tennis, trees and aims, and the cultivation methods also, uh, and ceremonial procedures and other regulations. And what Jason has talked about is based on you know, what he has established. And the third person is a Pagu Dang, and he established Taesun Jilue in 1969. And I just quote uh, what Kang Jing San had talked about uh, related to uh, the reordering of the universe. Uh, he said that in the middle of the May uh, 1901, uh, Sang Jie, the Kang Jing San, opened the Great Tao, which he says Taesun Truth. Taesun means the great itineration, great journey uh, into the you know, three realms of the world, heaven, earth, and human world with his judgment on existing deities and a uh, corresponding 49-day uh, fast in Te uh, Taewon Temple in Moang Mountain, Jeonju, and commencing the reordering of the works uh, in the winter of 1901, he, pro he proclaimed like this, I, I will rebuild heaven and earth and allow div uh, divine beings to pass in and out of human minds so that human beings can be renewed and fulfill their heavenly purposes. I will... Uh, I will redeem humanity by exercising great authority over the three realms, constructing the later world of earthly paradise with the way of mutual beneficence. And then he goes on to saying that the three worlds lost their constant Tao due to the chaos of the nether world. Nether world can be interpreted as afterworld. Therefore, I will reorder the existing heavenly Tao of mutual conflict in such a way that divine beings and human beings who had been blocked for thousands of years can cooperate with each other for mutual beneficence. Thus, the general current of heaven and earth will be put on the right track. That's what he's talked about, uh, the, the, the main, uh, main content of the reordering of the universe. And now I turn to the second person, the Zhu Zheng San. And this is the picture that he established in, in Tain, which is in the southwest of the Korean Peninsula. So the name of the religious organization is the Muguk Do. And he, uh, he made the organization in 1925, and he made a, the, the declaration of the Enlightenment of Tao in 1925. And in 1928, he uh, proclaimed the declaration of participation in Tao. 
And I just read, although everyone helps get honor and prosperity, why is it so difficult to acquire those? It is because they do not know the shortcut, which is restoring innate conscience. Once you restore the innate conscience, you can communicate with all the spirits, which means all the deities of heaven and earth, and be in harmony with everything in the universe. Hence, straighten out the energy of one's mind, perform one's righteousness, uh, and seek the innate conscious, conscience while leaving oneself to Sangja's will. And this is a phrase that why I became a member of the Tessun I, I love this phrase a lot. So, so uh, I try to focus this part uh, as the, one of the sacred places in Tessun Of course, externally, the sacred place in Tessun is a Yongde, as in the Mashimo and Jason uh, talked about already. So I just skip. Uh, the Yongde is the main shrine where the 15 great deities are enshrined on the a fourth floor. It's a four-story four building, but it looks like a three-story building uh, externally. But uh, there is a spring god of the ninth heaven, Kuchan Sangje, in the middle. And, and on the right side, there is a, a Jade Emperor, the Okhwang Sangje. And on the, on the left side, uh, there is a Shakamuni Buddha. And the other 13, no, no, one, two, three, 12, 12 deities are on the, in the, each side of the corner. And the second uh, sacred place that I'm thinking is that uh, once the innate conscience is restored and preserved, individual mind constitutes Yongde, which means the spiritual sacred place, as the sacred place of human spirits, Shimyong Shinde, which could be obtained by practicing Hewan Sangseng. So it is based on the principle of not deceiving oneself, guarding against self deception, to maintain the sacred place in one's mind. So. This is a very important ethical uh, principle, uh, which constitutes uh, the sacred place in Taesun Jili Hui. Now I turn to the Hewan uh, Sang Seng, uh, which is the major uh, focus of this uh, study. Uh, I can think that Hewan Sang Seng is a kind of a spirit, understanding and appreciate, appreciating each, each other like an affectionate mother while harmonizing and uniting with each other based on the warm and generous heart, accompanied by the spirit of repaying the gratitude and, sorry, appreciation. Okay, so you can think about Bernadette. Bernadette, you can think of the affectionate, you know, heart of the, <laughs> the, the mind, that kind of character uh, can be characterized uh, by the Hewon Sangseng mind. Okay, so if <laughs> someone, uh, yeah, New York. So if someone slaps your face, that uh, Jesus says that uh, put another uh, trick uh, to, to, to her, right? But in Tessin philosophy, we think that that might uh, cause another chok. Chok means the other's grievances against me. So we just say that if somebody slaps my face, we just ca uh, caress uh, her or his hand, okay? To, you know, soothe his mind or her mind. So there is an old Korean saying that the one good turn deserves another, right? So we should do uh, uh, good words and virtuous things to others. So it's like a mutually understand each other through resolving misunderstanding and doubt, yeah, which is very important. I mean, uh, heaven means the resolving the grievances and resolving the grudges, resolving the bad feelings. So if you have a bad feelings or misunderstanding, try to solve or pray to the God, or you can go to her and try to solve the misunderstanding and doubt. This is the basic step of the heaven sangseng. And second part of Hewan Sangseng, I can uh, say, think that Hewan Sangseng is to respect every living soul. Because the third person, Pagudang uh, uh, uh teaching, is the, the, the key, key point is that respect. So respect is to know that others are precious meaning as much as my life is worth. So to respect others, we should have a mind to return good for evil. So it's the opposite concept of the returning evil for evil in Islamic tradition, but I, I, I'm not saying that Islamic tradition is not so good, but it, I, I'm just uh, using the example, okay? Returning evil for evil is like washing blood with blood that Hewan Sangseng cannot be achieved. That's what Pagudang Tuzhen said. So I'm just quoting. The first uh, thing, uh, the, the fourth part is that when we respect others, we win respect and popularity from other people and deities that we can achieve the Otong. So, we just do not say the popularity from the other person, but from the, the deities also, so, which is very important to achieve totong, 
Plutong means the perfection of Tao. Okay, I'll just turn to Hewon Sang Seng uh, uh, in more detail. Uh, it says the resolution of grievances for mutual benefits. And this kind of the whole process of preventing and resolving chalk, which is often caused by or forms negative karma while promoting the betterment of others. So the, the Italian singer was very impressive. I mean, he was talking about the, or, the occidental karma or something. I mean, to prevent the negative implication of Hewan, the principle of resolution of grievances should be performed based on the principle of mutual beneficence. So Hewan uh, is the resolution of grievances, and Sangseng means the uh, mutual beneficence, so it's a mutual understanding. So uh, to become um, uh, really uh, fascinated uh, uh, proponent, proponent of the Hewan, we should uh, be a proponent of the mutual beneficence. So that's the basic idea. So ethics of mutual living for promoting the betterment of others while not causing chalk uh, it can constitute the ethics of peace in Taoism philosophy. Okay, uh, let's see the Hewan Sangse in relation to Xin Yinzhua. This is the most important part in this article. Uh, my argument is that the scope of Hewan Sangse encompasses the world of spiritual beings also, in that the grievances of spirits or deities can also be resolved through the principle, through this principle. Okay, with the principle of inter interdependence between human beings and spiritual beings, as Kang Zheng San said, uh, Zheng San gave primacy to the resolution of grievances resulting in reciprocation, which re relies on the four tenets. The four tenets, in the, as I said, the, the first one is the a harmony of yin and yang. The second one is the harmony between the uh, divine beings and human beings. The third one is the resolution, resolution of grievances for mutual benefits. The first one is the, the, the last step. Uh, I will talk about it later. So following this principle, spiritual beings can help devotees to fulfill objectives of Tao when they cultivate themselves in appropriate methods. So it's only when we do the inappropriate methods we can achieve the, uh, our objectives. And spiritual beings can also be truly resolved through participating in the construction of the later world. Uh, and what I, this is quite important because, you know, in Taoism philosophy, uh, Kang Zheng San and Zhou Zheng San said about the feature of the uh, spiritual beings. And he says that uh, since the former world and the period of the making and bearing grievances were overwhelmed by these kinds of the mutual conflict, the spirits possess grievances as well. So, however, without knowing the principle of the later world has changed it into mutual beneficence, spiritual, uh, spiritual beings themselves might be inclined to resolve their grievances through the principle of mutual conflict. Yet, hearing and re realizing that the universal pr principle is presently running by mutual beneficence, uh, spiritual beings can help the cultivator or the affiliated people who have some affinities to fulfill the objectives of Tao as a public affair. So through their contributions, spiritual beings can get a reward and a desert which will really be resolved from their grudges and sublimate into belonging to the sphere of the later world. Likewise, without considering the principle of the harmony between the uh, divine beings and human beings, the resolution of grievances, mutual beneficence cannot be fully explained. So here, the principle of desert and uh, reward explains why there follows any possible sacrifice in practicing acts of heaven, heaven sangseng, or love, or benevolence, or mercy, mercy in Buddhism, or benevolence in Confucianism, love in, in Christianity. Uh, so since these good acts, uh, according to Tessin philosophy, we can get the reward afterwards. So it means that since these good acts might accompany uh, one party sacrifice, but these kinds of acts can produce good results afterwards when they reach a proper moment to receive those, even in his afterlife or in the next generation. So like the Arhat in Buddhism, for example, although one reaches into the level of the unification with the Tao, he still has to receive the ne negative karma which were previously acted upon, including the acts of his previous life and those of ancestors. Since even the past actions are related with his pr uh, present uh, present uh, situation closely inter intertwined the principle of causality. In due course, spiritual beings and human beings can be perfectly tuned to each other in harmonious, mutually complementary way. 
that they can uh, reach into the level of Tao as to be evenly transformed into ideal beings. So in this process, both parties are supposed to re reciprocate the favors out of gratitude. Okay, so the, this leads to the last uh, tenet, which is the uh, Dotong Jingyang, which means the, uh, the, the true, uh, in, uh, true enlightenment I mean, uh, as the final stage. So mind is an organ in which spirits reside and make things happen. Then man has to keep clean and selfless mind while guarding against self-deception and promoting the betterment of others. That's what Kang Jing San said about it. And Pa Gudang interpreted it this way. Through spiritual cultivation, centering one's reverent spirit in the lower abdomen. The lower abdomen is tanjan, tanjan, or, or it's at the elixir field. So if you want to live longer, then you can do some moxibustion in this field. I mean, this is not testing philosophy. I'm a Chinese medical doctor, so I know this part. So uh, lower abdomen is quite important to uh, engage in incantation practice or uh, to meditation. Accompanied by the propagation of testing truths and edification, Devotees achieve the goal of integration with the Tao. So when you do the incantation practice, we just think of the Sangje and uh, in, with the reverent spirit and concentrate on our Tanjan. And by being enlightened and united with the Tao of Tais and Truth, humans transform themselves into realizing the sacred place of their spirits. Okay. And in unity with deities, human beings find sacredness inside of himself in the ear of Injun. Injun means the man, the venerable. Man is respected to be, can be respected as a kind of a, the highest per, uh, existence in the universe. Characterized by the principles of Hewon Sangseng and Bowen Sangseng. So Bowen Sang, Bowen Sangseng is like uh, 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 repaying the gratitude uh, for mutual benefits. And both human beings and the world itself reach the true state of Totong, perfected enlightenment or perfected state of Totong, where one can have a thorough understanding of everything, like uh, uh, in the universe, with the ability to do everything in accordance with one's will. But it's a bit different from Prajna Paramita in Buddhism, because in Prajna Paramita is a kind of penetrated wisdom into the essence of the universe. Uh, but it's, they cannot do anything, uh, although they are enlightened. But in case of Tessin philosophy, I think it's more with, to do with the Taoist uh, philosophy. Because if you are enlightened, you can do thing, everything. So it's not only a sarvajna, but you can do, it's not only omniscience, but it's only, it also omnipotence. So this uh, depicts the implications of the Hewon Sangse in relation to Dotong Jingyeo. And the white cow represents the, uh, the, the deities, and man is on, on the white cow, right, with the pipe. So when he uh, blows the pipe, the, uh, the deities can help him. So this is my conclusion. So the first one is that the principle of Hewon Sangseng is to promote the betterment of others without causing chub based on the spirit of respect and understanding and love. And Bohun Sangseng, repaying the gratitude for mutual beneficence, is to realize that every being around us are thankful ones who help our existence to be worthwhile and to cooperate with the spirit of joining efforts. So even the, the trees and in the, the small insects uh, can be protect, protected in this period. Through these two principles, all grievances stored up, uh, stored up from time immemorial will be resolved, and the world will turn into an earthly paradise without conflict and antagonism. And this is how we embody an internalized Tao based on the sacred spirit in mind, which reveals itself in the form of virtues of humanities, which we say Hinyun. So it says that uh, there is a, a sacred mind uh, in ourselves, but it dwells in us. It's like a sanctum, sanctum, sanctum uh, in, uh, in uh, Latin ideas, right? It's quite similar to the a religious hierophony of sacred Tao of Tao, uh, of Tao of Taiatis. And this kind of hierophony helps the sacred to enter the ordinary and for the ordinary to enter into a, and participate in the sacred realm while culminating in Dotong, which is a perfection of Tao. Okay, Todaraba, thank you. Yeah.